controlled by gravity. Celestial bodies will follow, follow the one. Spaceships with their engines off orbit in one, two. Kepler's laws explain them, and there's only three to know. Orbits aren't circles, the planets move in ellipses, you see. This is farthest from gravity. For Earth's closest perigee. The farthest from the Earth is apogee. First law talks about the orbit shape. If it's bound, it's elliptical. There's two foci with the occupied source of gravity. The major axis is the largest diameter of it. Unbound orbits are called hyperbolic in shape. Sunny seas. Round means low eccentricity. Sunny seas. Our planets make orbits Sunny like seas. these. Stretches high. Second law is that you travel fastest at the periapsis and slowest at the apoapsis. The third law talks about the period, the time to make an orbit. The bigger the major axis, the longer the period. The bigger the major axis, the greater total energy. Periapsis has the greatest energy of motion. Apoapsis has the greatest energy of position. Total energy is the same at any point in orbit. Total energy is the sum. All of energy of motion and position. The sum is constant. Because of conservation of energy. Bound orbits have 